All right, so we are doing our second review today for Union Repair Tools. Uh, the tool we have today, this uh, will be another short uh, review. Uh, this is a tool that we use pretty much daily uh, with iPad re uh, screen removals. And it, yeah, anything that really has a, an adhesive between the screen, uh, this is actually a heat mat. Um, these are a, it's called a CPB um, heat mat. It's from, gotta come in this box here. Uh, we've got a few of these actually. Uh, Union Repair has these on their website for $58. Uh, they've been very, very helpful for us. Uh, I'll show you the link here for them. They do have two versions, a 220 volt and a 110 volt. Uh, of course we use the 110, but if you're in a, a place that has 120, uh, or 220 excuse me it's a better option for you so you don't have to, to downgrade your voltage to make it work uh, these uh, heat pads are programmable so they have a timer built in them uh, they also have a temperature setting you can set both your temperature and your time uh, normally when we use these we just set them to a a time frame of about uh, just usually the maximum. I think it's like 99 minutes or something like that. Uh, and we also max out the temperature on these when we're doing iPads. Uh, they do have temperature control though, so they have an internal uh, thermistor that will kind of control the uh, temperature of the pad. But when we do iPads, we turn this on at the maximum temperature it will go. We put it with the metal side of the iPad down. That way it'll actually heat the metal instead of just the glass. By heating the metal, it retains some of that heat a little longer. That way, when you're working with it, it doesn't just get really hard immediately because the glass thermally is not going to hold the amount of heat that the aluminum frame will. Uh, on maximum temperature, we have not had a problem with any LCD or battery or board issues. Uh, we don't recommend leaving it on there, just putting it down and walking away. Uh, this is a good thing to, to put on and just kind of touch it every now and then to feel what kind of temperatures you have. When it gets to a point where it's it's pretty uncomfortable to touch, uh, you want to pull it and start sliding in a pick and work your way around. But uh, this pad is something that we have used a lot. I will say that uh, we have had some with, with a few problems. Um, they still work, it's just every now and then they'll shut off. Um, I, I do want to be fair when I review these and be honest on, on how I feel about them. So we do have one that will shut off on us, it still works but it'll start beeping at us. We have to unplug it, plug it back in. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the temperature sensor on it. Um, pretty easy fix if you wanted to try to fix it because your wires run out uh, into the pad right here. But uh, that's about the only negative I have with them. The pads heat up extremely quickly. Uh, they are a plenty large size. They'll hold anything pretty much you want to do. Surface Pros, everything like that. Um, but not a whole lot of negatives to them. Um, just... A lot of positive things that we've had from them so if you want to pick these up like i said they're on the website at union repair for 58 dollars uh still a pretty good deal we've been buying them uh originally we had purchased them in the u.s they were running about 80 dollars. so after shipping you're going to pay about the same price so uh, it's almost at a wholesale cost um so it's a, a definite good investment so if you're looking for something to open up ipads or anything with an adhesive on the frame these heat pads are very good uh, we'll have we'll have more reviews uh, either today or tomorrow. We've got some other tools for holding iPhones open and and different frame holders and stuff like that. And we've got some really cool work mats uh, stations we're going to review. But that'll end it on this one. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact you and repair about these. Or if you have any personal responses you want to leave in the comments or ask me, just feel free to ask and I can see if I can get back to you. I will see you all in a little bit with a stream. Have a good day.